Okay, so, just launched has been episode 5 of Obi-Wan Kenobi series, and there are going to be spoilers in this reaction review type thing, so if you don't want to hear what's going on, do check out the episode first and then come back and listen to my thoughts. Okay, so, this episode was actually really quite good. It was it was probably, a, um, it's, you know, the pace is building up, we've only got one episode left, but it looks like things are moving forward. As I said before, there are going to be spoilers. So this is the situation where Oberon Kenobi has rescued um, rescued Leia, and uh, but there's a tracker on in in her little robot, and Raya, or Reva, I should say, she uh, she locates where they are and where this rebel base is, and uh, she tells Darth Vader who goes down or who, who wants to send a team down to to find and capture uh, Oberon Kenobi. So. This is this was a very interesting um, episode because for for one reason there was there was a, a flashback scene there was a CGI well not CGI there was a flashback scene between Anakin Skywalker and Obi Wan Kenobi when they're training and uh, Anakin's still a Padawan and you see them you see them having this this lightsaber battle and and Anakin's getting very aggressive and very pushy and you know and letting his feelings get get in the way and wanting to win. And Obi Wan Kenobi keeps telling him this is isn't, this isn't good. You know, you mustn't be all hell bent on winning. You've got to think about things and stuff like that. I was a bit disappointed with this scene, not because of the action, because I think they they played the action very well. But it was, you know, it was clearly meant to be an earlier point in time. And Obi Wan Kenobi, you know, Colin, Ewan McGregor, um, I think that he looked okay, but Hayden Christensen just didn't look. As he did back then. I don't know if they used any de-aging software or whether they didn't, but he just didn't look like he did back then. He looks like the person he is now with the hairstyle he had back then. And um and so that was a little bit shabby for me. I you know I wanted them to do a bit more. I mean they did a, a pretty good job um in Boba Fett with uh, Luke Skywalker, so I thought they were gonna do more, but they didn't unfortunately. And also there was um, there were other little bits and pieces where the CGI wasn't quite good, and, and it's, it's a shame because you think that they spent a lot of money on this TV series and they wanted it to be successful, but then there were things that didn't quite go very well, which is a bit of a shame. But anyway, so Obi Wan Kenobi decides to talk to Reva, and that's when he finds out that Reva was one of those younglings at the beginning of the series, whose teacher was killed, and then they were left on their own. She explains that uh, Anakin Skywalker came in, killed all the youngins. She pretended to be dead, so she survived. And that's when we find out that Reva isn't trying to work with Darth Vader. She's trying to kill him. She's trying to trap him and then get close enough to him to be able to kill him. And so Obi-Wan Kenobi kind of tricks her in a way and says, well, okay, we'll work together. Let me, you know, let me find out what's going on. So she tells Obi-Wan, she tells um Darth Vader that he's down there and he's captured so Darth Vader comes down but Obi-Wan Kenobi has tricked them by getting everyone on board the the starship and they've taken off now this one of these one of the good scenes where we see Darth Vader you know try using the force to, to stop the ship from taking off and pulling it dragging it back down into the base again and then ripping pieces off it with the, with the force you know grabbing pieces ripping it off the ship I thought that was pretty good I quite enjoyed that section and I also enjoyed the section after that where, you know, the, the, they actually escape in a different ship that he doesn't realise at the time. So there's nobody in the ship that he's tried to rip apart. Rhea comes in and that, this is the time when she tries to kill Darth Vader, but he knew all along what was going on. And so there's this battle that ensues between the two of them, which is very good, I think. You know, it was quite, you could see that Darth Vader wasn't really trying. You could see that Reva was really frustrated and angry and, you know, not using her skills properly and he ends up running her through with the lightsaber but she doesn't die in that episode so I think that she survives obviously because I think they're doing a spin-off series so she's gonna survive isn't she and this is the kind of this is um, this is the point where he kind of says that he knew that there was going to be he, he uh, implied that he knew that she was alive when she was a youngling and that he basically left her alive and that he may well have known who she was all along so that was quite a good situation as well I quite enjoyed that um, and it's good to see the, the the progress of Reva now obviously it's quite good the way that they've 
they uh, set up and you know had this reveal about Reva, Ariva. But I think that it probably should have been started a little bit earlier than this because we've only got one episode left, and there seems to be a few things that haven't quite come together yet. And it doesn't. I hope that they don't rush it in episode six and just try and tie everything together. Um, it would be good if they could you know have done things a little bit earlier in the series so that you were prepared for this when it happened rather than trying to bunch it all into the last two episodes but it, it was better it was better than the previous four episodes i'll give it that um i'm sure there's going to be another fight scene between kenobi and vader because that's what they've been leading up to i think and um and hopefully that will be good certainly the the flashbacks when they were fighting looked good then you know there was still the same energy that they had in the original movie so i'm hoping it's all going to go well together but what do you think that's the important thing what are you guys out there thinking do you feel that this series has taken a turn for the better or do you think it's taken a turn for the worst it'd be great to hear your views if you can let me know in the um, comments down below that would be fantastic and also please do remember to like and subscribe to the channel as well that would be great thank you very much for joining me